Hello everyone, my name is Tara and I work with CKIS. Today I will be showing you how to identify yellow flag iris and cattail and how to tell the difference between the two. So let's start with yellow flag iris. Yellow flag iris can be found along wet areas, so streams, lakes, or pond. Usually it has a beautiful yellow flower that you can easily identify the plant with. However, it's not in bloom right now, so I'll be showing you how to identify yellow flag iris without the flowers today. So it has a long, slender, sword-like leaf with a distinctive vein running along the middle. Uh, this plant can be toxic to humans and animals and can cause skin irritation. Yellow flag iris can reproduce by seeds, so it will form a seed pod from late summer to fall. It can also spread by roots, so if a rhizome falls off on the bottom, then a new plant can form that way. So several hundred plants can be connected underwater due to this extensive root system. It also creates uh, thick mats of roots, which can damage wildlife habitat as the animals can't reach the shore to nest. Other impacts yellow flag iris has is that it'll clog ditches and irrigation systems with its roots. It will reduce the water storage capacity a wetland has, and it will also outcompete uh, native species like the cattail, which you will see in a moment. The best management options for yellow flag iris is to clip off all of the seed heads before the seeds disperse. Another way is to make sure you dig up all the roots and these two management options will have to be done annually. Okay, now that you know how to identify the invasive yellow flag iris, let's look at cattail. So cattail is a native species, however it does look similar to yellow flag iris. But the way you can tell the difference is as you can see behind me, cattail is a lot taller. It has a flat ribbon-like leaf with a waxy layer to it. It also doesn't have the distinctive vein growing along the center like yellow flag iris. Another way you can identify cattail is by this big brown cigar shaped head along this uh, thin stalk. Cattail has been used for many things like creating mats and blankets. It also creates lots of habitat for animals like birds, ducks, insects, and even microinvertebrates. Thank you so much for watching this video and I hope you enjoyed it. For more information on yellow flag iris, please go to our website at seakiss.ca and have fun identifying these species. Please be plant wise and do not grow or buy yellow flag iris. Also, if you see yellow flag iris, please report it at seakiss.ca.